1200 days of cedar tension. Stay tuned by the end of the video so you know what to know regarding your NOFAP and seed retention journey. Before we do dive deeper in the video, you know what Brother Elijah has to do. He always does it, brother. Brother, making sure nobody. Uh oh. There you go. Ah. Now, brother, I want you to feel this great. So with that being said, this is your journey, man. So with that being said, brother, this is your journey. You must find out what it really means to become a man. A lot of people have been in this pit for 10 plus years, 10 years, and doesn't know what freedom feels like. You must feel what freedom feels like. When you go on your cedar journey, this is where the true freedom comes in. Now, true freedom comes through Christ Jesus. When a man is in Christ, he has the true freedom, right? That's the, that's the point blank sim, uh, simple of the whole basics of, uh, of everything. When a man decides to go on NoFap as well, it's a lower version. He feels the energy. He feels like a little kid. Now, with that being said, when it comes to being a man inside of this world, we secretly want to have the childlike faith. Yes, the childlike faith. You want to be able to feel free, have both hands out and say, dude, I am alive. I am well. I am alive and I am well in Jesus name. Being able to say, dude, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I can go out inside of the world and I don't have to focus on this lustful thing. A lot of people are walking in bondage, self-slavery, right? They, they got, they got, you know, both, both head down, all the stuff, eyes looking over here because they're in sexual morality. Guys, the Bible says, Sexual morality is the only sin that you commit to your own body. The man that decides to go to the next level with his NoFap journey, decides to seek out help, this is where the true masculine man comes in. So with that being said, you will know what true freedom, freedom feels like, brother, when you go on your NoFap and seed retention journey. That being said, I challenge you, you must go into training mode. Training mode, that way you can prepare for the greater good. On the other side of sexual morality, is a successful marriage. On the other side of this, a, success, a, a successful business. Friends coming their way to come and you know, help you out, right? To come and elevate you to the next level. Beautiful things, things will start attracting to your life. And so at the end of the day, you must train as if you're training for Mr. Olympia, but most importantly, train as if you're training for God. Colossians 3.23 in the Bible says, whatever you do, work heartily as unto the Lord, not for men. Brother, this is where you have to come in and say, dude, I have to be teachable, I have to be coachable. If you've never been in training before, whether it be from sports, you may have never played sports before, you've only, you've only done PE, then brother, you cannot expect a change if you're not willing to put your body through delayed gratification. Because delayed gratification is still faith without work is dead. Christians, a lot of Christians, as you, get, as you guys can see in the world, you know, um, you go to the church, more than likely you'll see very obese obese person there and it's not good self-neglect does not mean okay deny yourself in the Lord denying yourself into the Lord does not mean self-neglect these are two different things so when it comes down to it faith without works is dead you want to get your body the strongest it's ever been right praying and God will give you the pancakes but he's not gonna give you the pancakes already made God will give you the butter but it's not gonna be already it's like it's gonna be cold in the refrigerator God will give you the syrup but guess what? You have to go out there and heat it. And guess what? It's going to be a beautiful thing. And now, with that being said, faith without works is dead. Train your body as if you're training for God. Having a goal. Dude, you know what, dude? I got to keep my eyes on the prize. The Bible says, my people perish for a lack of vision. Being able to say, dude, I have a 30-day goal, a 60-day goal, a 90-day goal. And I guarantee you, brother, that I'm going to hit these goals tremendously to keep my mind off the sexual sexual sin because faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. And so at the end of the day, brother, train your body, train your body, brother. And I guarantee you, there is gonna be some big things coming your way when you practice delay gratification, okay? So with that being said, my experience of 1200 plus days, faith without works is dead, brother. By the grace of God, I've always, you know, I've always been in uh, extracurricular activities where I played sports, so I've always been in that training mode. Some of you may not, may not have been in the training mode. So you must find a training, okay, that's gonna elevate you to the next level, all right? 
So with that being said, listen, I'm only selecting a few people, okay, sharp men who do want to succeed on NoFap and do want to go to the next level. And if this is you, what I want you to do is go down below and book one on consultation, see if you're good for a program, okay? But until then, brother, you know what brother last has to do. I hope you guys got some of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh-oh. Sticky chest. There you go. Uh-oh.